Hey guys, my name is Casey Cat. Welcome back to my channel. This video, I'm going to be talking about what it's like being an international Cubic fan with a form of autism called Asperger's Syndrome. If you guys don't know who Cubic is, they are the J-pop group behind me and I absolutely love them so much. So, let's get started guys. So a small introduction, my name's Casey, but everyone calls me Cat. I'm 24 years old, I live in America, I have a form of autism called Asperger's Syndrome, but I am also a huge Cubic fangirl. I found Cubic three years ago in 2020 through TikTok and became a fan instantly. This video, I'm going to be talking about some of the challenges I have faced as an international fan and as a fan with autism. Let's get started. So obviously, the biggest challenge for me as an international fan is I can't go to lives, concerts, and events whenever I want. I can watch the ones that are live streamed, and that is how I watched the Cubic concert recently, and it was so much fun. The biggest challenge for me with having this form of autism is I actually have a fear of men and a fear of human touch, and I do have some triggers that happen in the Cubic videos, like the videos the videos on their YouTube channel, not their music videos. Um, and then I also have hypersensitivity to sound and lights such as strobe lights, flashing lights, and high pitched noises cause me to have little shutdowns and really bad headaches, which did happen at the recent Cubic concert I attended, but I was able to get medication and I was okay um, after that. So please do not worry guys. A common question that I get is, is there language barrier? Can I understand them? Can I read what they post? Yes and no. So I've been studying Japanese since I was 17 years old and my understanding and reading is really good, but I have trouble speaking due to my shyness and my Asperger's. I have a bit of a stutter, especially around guys, and so there is that. I can read most, but a lot of stuff I still have trouble with, so more often than not I will just hit the translate button to make sure my um, translation is correct. Something that is hard for me to admit is I have had anxiety attacks while watching cubic videos or after um, thinking about cubic videos and I do worry about what would happen if I came face to face with them either just randomly while I'm in Japan soon or at an event and I think about different scenarios every day but I am still looking forward to meeting them next year when I go to Japan. I honestly do love Cubic and I really do hope I can meet them and make happy memories at their concert and with them with no regrets. I will continue to support them as best I can. This is just a short video guys so if you have any questions let me know in the comments or on social media. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye!